morning children happy sunday hope you had a great week today is the beginning of another week so we will have a word of prayer first then we will join in praise worship i hope you are, you put on your dancing shoes so that we can dance all right but before we do that let's quickly have a word of prayer let's put our hands together and close our eyes Father Lord, we thank you for today. We we'll bless you because you have been taking care of us. We thank you for providing for mommy and daddy. We thank you for keeping everyone. Father Lord, we pray that as we join in the praise worship, we'll be able to dance and praise you in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. All right, children, let's join for praise and worship. Hope you're excited. Please come along. Is somebody excited that God is a God of miracles? Indeed, he has done great things for you. You need to rejoice before your God with a dance offering. If we come to children welcome back from praise and worship i hope you have enjoyed yourself in today's praise and worship we bless god for another opportunity he has given to us so before we go ahead let us pray our heavenly father we bless your name this morning we thank you for our daddies and our mommies 
We thank you for our parents. We thank you for our brothers and our sisters. We thank you for our uncles and our aunties. We thank you for everybody. We bless your holy name in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, you will help us today in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Uh, we want to learn this morning about faithfulness. What do you understand by faithfulness? Faithfulness means doing what daddy and mommy tells you to do. If you truly love daddies and mommy, you will not disobey them. And that is what we have learned from our Bible today about the story of David and Jonathan. Jonathan loves David. They are best of friends. They like each other. And one day, Jonathan's daddy wants to hurt David. And because Jonathan loves David, he was like, no, David is my best friend. This is not going to happen to him. He went to his dad. Dad, what is it that my friend has done wrong? He was pleading, he was begging his daddy on behalf of his friend. And God softened the heart of the, um, Jonathan's dad and the whole story changed. What do we learn about that? Jonathan was praying for his friend. He doesn't want his dad to hurt David. And what he could do was to intervene, as, was to talk to his dad. Say, Daddy, this is my best friend. Don't do that. God touched the heart of his dad and he did not do bad. He did not hurt David. Likewise, we too. Mommy is going out in the morning. He says, go and sweep that place. Go and bring, take the cup to the kitchen. You refuse to do it. If you don't do that, that means you are not faithful. You did not obey daddy and mommy. So for you to be faithful, we need the help of the Holy Spirit. We need God to put his spirit in our heart so that we can listen to God, so that we can do what is right at the right time. Faithfulness also means to do what is right, even when your teachers or your uncles or your aunties are not around. But you know that this is the right thing to do. What makes us to know that is by the Spirit of God that lives in us. Praise God. Being faithful also means when daddy says, get me a cup of water or get me, or get me a bottle of water, you go there, you bring it and give it to daddy. Next time, daddy will call you again. Daddy knows you are growing. Faithfulness also means you love God. If you love God, you will not want to do what will hurt God. You will not want to do what will make God not to be happy with you. And you know, Jesus, Jesus loved us so much. He likes to protect us. When something bad happened to us, Jesus does not like it. So he wants you to be faithful to God. How can you be faithful to God? When mommy tells you to do something, you do it. You two, two years old, you are not too small to take your plate to the kitchen. When you finish eating, it's not only mommies and daddies that will be doing everything for you. Once you know that if you want to eat biscuit, you will tell mommy, mommy, I want biscuit. Daddy, I want biscuit. And you will not allow daddies and mommies to rest until you get your biscuit. So also, if you want to eat, mommy, I want to eat. Daddy, I want to eat. Mommy will go to the kitchen and cook for you. When you are done with eating, when you finish eating your food, you take your plate to the kitchen and tell mommy, thank you. That's faithfulness because mommy will be happy, daddies will be happy because they know at the end of the day, when you are through with your food, you will say thank you. Even after a few minutes, you are forgotten to tell them, mommy, thank you, daddy, thank you. When you remember, you will come back. Mommy, thank you. That's faithfulness. Mommy will always look for it that I trust my daughter. That's my boy. That's my girl. Anytime she finished eating, she will take her plate to the kitchen and she will come back. Mommy, thank you. That's faithfulness. 
It means you are making mommy to be happy. You are doing what mommy wants you to be doing. And it's not only for mommy. You can be faithful to your friends too. That is what we have learned in the case of David and Jonathan. Also to your teachers in school. You go to school early. Some of us, you will not go to school and you will not allow mommy to rest. Mommy, call my auntie. I'm not coming to school today because I'm not feeling fine. Call my auntie. In fact, sometimes mommy will be disturbed that what is your own? But because you notice that your auntie loves you and you know that your auntie will know this boy is not like this. This girl is not like this. For her not to come to school, that means something is wrong. And you pick call and call. Or your, before the teachers call, your mommy has called, sorry, David is not coming to school today, he's not feeling fine. They know that you always come to school. It's also another faithfulness. And I pray God will help us and we'll be God's children in Jesus' name. Children, it's good to be faithful. It's good to be faithful. When you are faithful, you are making God to be happy with you. You are telling God that you love God. And if you love God, you will do what he wants you to do. God bless us in Jesus' name. I also want to talk about this faithfulness again. There's a reward. There is something you get in return for being faithful. Mommy tells you to take my cup to the kitchen. When she finished eating, you did that. Mommy may not say anything now. Next time, it was a, it's, it's going to be a plate and she, she asks you to take my plate to the kitchen and you take it to the kitchen. Sometimes when mommy is coming back, she will just buy small sweet or small chocolate and keep it in her bag. When she says, go and do this and you did it, you don't even know what mommy wants. Mommy will just call you, hello David, come here. Mommy wants to reward you because you're being faithful. You're making mommy to be happy. Mommy will just bring out her purse. Oh, David, you have been a good boy. Take this chocolate. Take this sweet. Take this caprizone. It can be any of those things. But just to let you know that mommy appreciates you. Mommy loves you for being faithful. When we are talking about faithfulness, we also learn that we need to be faithful to God. God loved us. Jesus loved us. He loved us. God sent Jesus to come and gave himself for us. And Jesus came and he gave himself for us. What are we going to give back to God in return of that? You are going to tell God, I love you. And I love you by showing faithfulness to God, by showing faithfulness to your friends, by showing love to them by making people around you to be happy. Those are the fruit of the Spirit. And we need to let it come into action. We need to let it be part of us. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. I want us to go into our activities now. What do we have? We have learned about fruit of the Spirit and we have a whole lot of them. Some of the ones we have learned in the past are we have learned about love, we have learned about peace, we have learned about joy, we have learned about patience, and we have learned about goodness, and we have learned about kindness. Today's own is going to be added to it, which is called faithfulness. So, These are the fruit of the Spirit that we have learned so far. And I want God, I pray that God will help us to bring it to pass in our lives. Praise God. Children, we are done with the activities of this week about the fruit of the Spirit. And our memory verse for this week is going to be taken from the book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 23, 22 and 23. And we're going to take it in form of song. I hope all of us know the song. Okay, let's go.
The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Again, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. The Lord will bless us as we go this week in Jesus' name. And I want you to sing this song for mommies and daddies over and over again. God bless you. Enjoy your week.